Phase two of the Children's Hospital of Wales, uh, the opening of T. Clidiat in the grounds of the Princess of Wales Hospital in Bridgend. And over the past three years, we've invested some £300 million per year in capital projects, and this year we anticipate investing a further £260 million. Here in Morriston, we're investing in excess of £15 million to enable the hospital to be substantially upgraded, including a specialist rehab unit which will include a new artificial limb and appliance centre and the redevelopment of the hospital's emergency department. It's vital, of course, that we have a network of hospitals that are safe, modern and facilitate new and effective ways of working. I'd also point to the innovation that takes place in the NHS in Wales. The NHS needs people who thrive on testing the boundaries of both medicine and science, who question why something can't be done, or whether something can be done better. The future successes of the NHS will be built by people that come up with ideas and persevere through the challenges that will be there, that prevent them becoming a reality. So what are we doing in Wales? We have, of course, uh, the state-of-the-art Swansea Centre doing pioneering medical research, uh, and that has uh, moved forward with the official opening of new facilities. There is, of course, the groundbreaking cancer research being undertaken in Cardiff, boosted with a £2 million grant. We have the Neurosciences High Care Ward, which is part of the neurosurgery unit in UHW, designed, of course, to be a centre of excellence. On top of that, of course, we have the latest screening equipment that can reveal signs of a variety of eye conditions and wider health problems. We have the Surgical Materials Testing Laboratory with its international reputation for its expertise in testing disposable medical devices, the only NHS facility of its kind, of course, in the UK. We've got the new science strategy for Wales as well. I launched it uh, recently and it includes an additional £50 million for science R&D in Welsh universities over the next five years. So there are significant opportunities for doctors to help to put Wales at the forefront of research. We also invest over £40 million in NHS Wales research and development every year, and that money is important to make sure that we can continue to innovate in the future. There are many other examples as well. But we must be able to communicate the fact that NHS Wales is an exciting place to work, a place at the heart of medical research, a place where visionary thinkers are listened to and valued. We know that the continued drive to do better can only lead to a positive outcome for people. And so what we say to those who look at Wales as a place to develop their career is that we are a country of innovation, a country of new thinking, an exciting country, and of course a country where the ideas of the medical profession are valued and are fed back to politicians in a way that isn't possible. In England, it's just too big. In Wales, it's far more possible. On top of that, of course, we offer lifestyle. A lifestyle choice that is different to that that exists in some of the bigger cities. The benefits of rural Wales, the benefits of being close to rural Wales, are there for all who want to enjoy that lifestyle that we offer. And so finally, my message today is quite simply this. Wales is the smart choice. The smart choice for investment, 
smart choice for innovation, and as far as doctors are concerned, the smart choice for the future. Both the First Minister and I have emphasised the critical need for delivery of improved health services, better quality of services and enhancing patients' experiences. I'm delighted that the NHS is responding so positively. All the indications are of progress and achievement, of reduced infection, lower mortality, virtual elimination of pressure sores and of reducing waiting times, really bucking the trend when you look at other health systems. We are seeing new, more convenient models of care, and I believe our integrated system is working. And all of this is being delivered in a constrained financial environment, with the NHS, I'm very pleased to say, balancing its books for 2011-12. Last November, I launched Together for Health, the Welsh Government's strategic vision for the NHS. This strategy aims to ensure we, as a nation, focus on improving health as well as treating sickness. This vision is for an NHS which is based upon an integrated system for promoting and protecting health, mainly delivered in primary care, complemented by hospitals, as part of a well-designed, fully integrated network of care. Change has to happen if we are to respond to some of the innovation the First Minister referred to. Change has to happen if we are to make the most of new opportunities arising through the exploitation of new technologies. In addition to these changes, there is a need to consider carefully the way we deliver services and to both recognise and embrace the need for all public sector organisations to collaborate across boundaries and share best practice wherever practical. As the First Minister mentioned, there is already a wide range of innovation and progressive working happening across Wales that we believe will help attract doctors to Wales.